Hello, my single solitary viewer, Fluesmaker here, and this is going to be a long, potentially long, rambly video. Uh, because there's a lot of subjects I want to cover all in the same one. There's a lot of good news, there's a lot of bad news. Now, first I'll explain where I am. I, I think I have finally found one seed that is better than the seed B found. And this uh, with seed I'm talking about is for the next season of the Flues Crew SMP, with, uh, of course, all the, of the Tommy Squad patrons being invited as well to come and join and play with us. Uh, so for anyone who's uh, like a bottom level patron, eh, you automatically get access for one season. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, patron information down below if, if, if that interests you. But this is the seed I think I'm going to be replacing the seed B found because this is a spawn island. It's a small, it's a rather small island, but there are two villages, which is already uh, very fun. And um, not very far away from this is a coral reef, which is something that uh, we were really looking for. I'm not, I forget which direction it is in, uh, though, so I'll fly around and talk about the, uh, the other things the video is about. Um, so first I'll start with some uh, bad news, I guess. Uh, which is, um, YouTube sucks. <laughs> Um, okay, though, no, that's a very, uh, that's a, that's a huge simplification of, uh, of, uh, the, <laughs> of what's about. Uh, oh, by the way, I'm gonna find the coral reef, it's right over there. Uh, it's, it's quite close to zero, zero. Um, YouTube is awesome, but it also sucks. And what it did, it changed a lot of, po of its policies and so on, and, uh, now, for example... The copyright strike, uh, or a guideline strike that a uh, user might get, uh, now the the partnered network of that user uh, is uh, also inheriting it. So entire networks could get shut down just because, you know, it has too many users that are uh, ha ma having uh, community guideline strikes. And community guideline strikes, uh, y like you get assigned a community guideline strike, even uh, on a false flag or something like that. It doesn't have to actually be a real one. And uh, so, you know, uh, that, that could end up shutting down networks extremely quickly because uh, basically the, 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 the system um, is made to favor the person making the accusation, even if it's a false one on uh, YouTube, basically. I'm trying to be quick and in a nutshell. So what, what happens uh, as a result of this is that, um... Oh, look at the beautiful, beautiful coral reef over there. Mmm, tasty, tasty. What happens is that, uh, networks for the... Ever since this change have been uh, dumping and dumping and dumping and dumping uh, a lot of its creators, tr and they're now trying to focus on only, like, the absolute top money makers that they have, right? So they're, they're going to be focusing and keeping only the really big name YouTubers and the small time YouTubers like myself. Well, you know, you can F in an off direction. Um, and this is what's going to happen to me. So basically, um, that's next week. Next week, I'm getting unpartnered. And uh, that means I uh, no more money from uh, YouTube um, for an unspecified amount of time. Um, not that I make large amounts of money from YouTube anyway, that's what happens with you know, when you're a really small time creator and you don't have a very large audience, you just d don't make a significant amount of money anyway. Uh, but now it's going to be even less. <laughs> so it's going to go from $2 to $0, basically. Um, and uh, normally I think, you know, uh, had that happened to me like, I don't know, six months ago or something like that, uh, maybe I would have said, okay... You know, this is a sign that, uh, you know, it's time to just stop. <laughs> just stop all this. Uh, it's time to just all stop. Stop it all. Time to stop. Let me check. Um, yeah, okay. Because I want to head to uh, the iceberg biomes. Uh, which is somewhat close. But this seed features a huge ocean. Huge ocean. It's, it's enormous. And uh, several little uh, mycelium islands that uh, people like to have. They're, all the biomes are within 5,000 blocks, which is what we're looking for. So that's why I'm thinking it's, a, it's an interesting seed. Though there's going to be probably a lot of, uh, of travel. Hence, I think, the need for a spawn town. Um, but uh, to get back to, to things like, yeah... That type of, those types of changes from YouTube, despite the fact that YouTube is such a great platform, 
the focus on uh, only the big creators and uh, the 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 premium series that they they want to make, um, uh, like uh, the Karate Kid and so on, so that people subscribe to the paid premium, twelve uh, dollars a month uh, content. That uh, it's twelve Canadian, so I assume it's uh, it's a little cheaper than that for Americans and so on. Um, that's that's their main focus now and uh they figure you know any small time creator we're just gonna you know advertisers don't like small time creators because they don't know who we are and they would much rather have their ads on uh, jimmy kimmel videos because they know who they are <laughs> so you know it's just uh it's just common sense that it's just, it, it makes sense it's just a little bit frustrating of course as a small time creator to uh, be on the wrong end of the bargain once again, you know. <laughs> um, I thought I was heading in the right direction, and I guess I'm not. I guess I guess I want to actually be heading this way. Okay. So we'll we'll see. Anyway, you know, I'm, I have a lot of rambling to do, <laughs> so don't worry about it. Um, but. Now, yeah, as I said, like something like six months ago or something like that, maybe like, you know, I would have uh, packed it in and so on. But, you know, things have changed a lot since then. And the, the Patreon uh, has been opened. And with the amazing support the Flues crew has given me on Patreon and the amazing support that all of you have been giving me in the comments and uh, sharing the videos on, on, on the comments, the Twitters, the, the Discord that you can join uh, free to join down below. All that support has been so amazing, heartfelt, and honest, and sincere, and, uh, you know, I can feel it. I can see, you know, I can see the regulars come in and comment on multiple videos, and I recognize you, you know, and I'm, I, 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 you're, you, you become like friendly faces to me that I love to see pop up on my videos, and it's awesome. And you, you're the guys and girls that uh, basically, you know, make this happen. <laughs> You make this happen, and thanks to you, you know, that's, uh, that's what I do it for, because, you know, it's so amazing to feel that support. It's so great, um, and that's why, you know, I, I won't, in fact, be, uh, you know, packing my bags <laughs> and going away, uh, at least not this month, you know. But uh, sometimes, you know, there are some things that uh, people do, and I'm very disappointed, uh, that disappoint me a lot, and um, what has been uh, disappointing me a lot this month is the... the a lot of the toxic behavior uh, as a whole now we'll we'll, we'll paint a, the the group uh, with a big big swab with a big generalization and uh in the uhc games uh there's been a lot of uh and the meetups by the way meetup simulators there's been a lot of toxic behavior a lot of people uh calling each other names uh some uh, you know people picking on others and uh, that we have any, we, we have a basically a zero tolerance policy on anything that uh, looks like bullying, whether it is bullying or you know just like uh, name calling, uh, picking on people, which is like not as uh, extreme as bullying, but we're we're just not going to be. We have the opportunity in our UHC Clubhouse Discord, Tommy and I, to create an environment where, unlike most other UHC communities or most other uh, UHC. Uh, and or Minecraft PvP communities where, you know, the competition intense and uh, the adrenaline is high and uh, the salt flows because, you know, when you got a, a game where only there is only one winner, that means things went bad for every other person or team. And, uh, you know, salt will flow when things go bad for that many people, you know. Uh, so, you know that, you know, uh, the, the ground is fertile to grow a little bit of salt and we want to make sure that this salt does not uh, become contagious we want to make sure that's con it's contained now here's a pro tip if you ever you get angry because you know things things go bad a lot in minecraft pvp you get killed a lot and or you know you die a lot and sometimes you know you, it's very frustrating so the pro tip i'd have is say like make sure you mute your microphone and then let it rip let it rip mute your microphone let it rip just let it out because sometimes it's just about processing the emotions, just flushing away the negative emotions. And so you can basically just mute your mic and let it rip. And then once you're done and you're, all right, that felt good. That felt better. Now I'm, I feel relieved because I've, I've processed all that pent up aggression 
I can unmute the mic and say, well, GG. <laughs> So uh, that, that doesn't really, uh, I don't necessarily have to do that very often, but, oh, awesome, another uh, coral reef, yep, that's another coral reef, glad to see that there are more than one, that makes the seed even better, even better, love this, love this, and look, 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 there's something I don't think I've seen, there's like coral reef, and, uh oh, Mo a monument, and what is this, floating, floating block of sand, floating block of sand, with the drowns. Don't, isn't this like awesome? Doesn't this look awesome? Look at this puffer fish. Look at this puffer fish. They're adorable. They're also poisonous. Oh, look at that. The drown killed the puffer fish. That's, that's murder. Okay, well, <laughs> let's carry on. <clears throat> we want to be sure that, um, uh, you know, in the UHC Clubhouse, as much as we can, we uh, stamp down on toxic behavior or bad behavior because we want to be you want the place to be as inclusive as possible because we have we have uh, you know kids that are as young as the terms of service of discord allow so roughly 13 years old you know and that's uh, as young as uh, you can be and we have moms and so on we have people of all types in the discord and uh, playing the games and so on and uh you know we have to know that uh hey uh we have to be open to all types we have to be inclusive to all personality types all types of people and um you know you're not going to be uh we're not going to be accepting of uh, people you know having a bad attitude because we want this place to be the kind of place where everyone can join and uh, come and play and have a little bit of fun or at least you know what <laughs> have a little bit of fun until somebody kills you <laughs> that's the way of uhc you know most of the time you just get killed because you know only one person wins or one team wins so most of the time you end up losing it's just the law of, of averages um uh, that's just the way it goes um we want to be sure that you know it's inclusive and everything and uh, we're going to be uh, having a a nice uh uh, area or a, a nice haven where like sportsmanlike behavior is uh, encouraged. Now we're we're going to be uh, able to um, to basically moderate that uh, during uh, you know UHC games that we host and uh, during uh, meetup simulations and so on. But uh, sometimes you know the the Discord is uh, is really big and it's become somewhat of a com community hub for a lot of people. And say uh, some some people want to go play on Hypixel or some other servers, and they can still use the the voice rooms in our Discord. That's what it's for. That's why they're there. But uh, we can't police that, unfortunately, because you know there's there's only so much that we can do. But we're gonna do our best, <clears throat> which uh, ultimately is still better than most of the other areas in the community f for um, what. Most of the time, those have been like entire free-for-alls, you know. So you were uh, either going to be able to take the abuse, or you weren't going to be coming back. Basically, that was that used to be in most areas. That was how it was going to be, you know. <laughs> so here, we want to be sure that uh, you're a little more protected uh, than that. We can't guarantee full safety, obviously, because we're only human and we can't be everywhere all at once. We can't spot everything, but we're going to be doing our best to stamp down on toxic behavior, name-calling, bullying, all that type of stuff. We want to be sure that it essentially uh, doesn't happen. Um, and uh, as a result, you know, to make sure that this message was well received, we shut down all the games for a week. And uh, the games now, I think we're going to be ready to resume the UHC games and the meetup simulators uh, if the game hosts feel like it. Because what happens is that when you behave poorly, you basically... It's it's a way of disrespecting the game host. The, and uh, the game host of that game is basically the highest authority there. Uh, and uh, basically, you know, it's... If you disre don't disrespect my bro dater, all right? Treat my Brodator good. Treat my 22 Scoops good. Treat treat Brandon well. Treat Andy with respect. When they're hosting games, and whether it doesn't have to be Tommy or myself, there's other hosts like Country Cutie and so on who can who can uh, do this for you. And they're they're taking time out of their day, additional time. It's not just showing up and and uh, 
you know, just play, placing a couple commands on the server and so on. They have to prepare the maps, they have to prepare the universe, they, it, it takes hours out of their day. And, you know, if it's only one game, well, one game is fairly easy, but if you start uh, hosting several games a week or more, that becomes a considerable amount of work, and I, I don't want anyone to take that for granted. Because that's a lot of dedication, that's a lot of effort, and I don't want anybody disres disrespecting this. And when your attitude is toxic, either directly or indirectly, that, that, that's, kind of a, that's kind of disrespect. Make sure you're on your best behavior uh, for the game hosts, because they take a lot of time out of their day and out of their week to host games for you to be enjoy uh, for you to enjoy and play in and participate in like uh that's 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 that that's key to me right they listen to them and uh yeah be 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 cool all right don't be a douche you have to be cool now we've been uh, for a couple of months or more actually more than that we've been uh, taking notes of everybody who has been misbehaving from cheating to misbehaving and so we have a whole list of all the incidents and so on. So as those incidents accumulate, there's some people that are on the verge of getting kicked. Kicked out of the Discord, kicked out of the games, banned for the games uh, for a much longer period um, than has been happening. So if you realize that uh, you have at some point uh, like called someone names or uh, have uh, indulged in what would be called toxic behavior in, in either toxic uh, game style in terms of like uh, repeatedly in particular repeatedly hiding or uh, delaying going to meet up and things like that um, th we've taken note of this and uh, you know keep doing it and we will be we'll be kindly inviting you to not return <laughs> because we want to again it's all about creating uh, a positive energy uh where there's as little toxic uh, attitudes and or behaviors as uh, as we can achieve if it means kicking out a patron of either tommy or myself or both so be it because uh, ultimately what we what we're trying to accomplish is a is a greater community uh, a greater community with uh you know a, a positive uh, energy and especially sportsmanlike behavior and um that's what we're trying to achieve and uh in order to achieve this is we have to sacrifice like a patron i we're gonna have to because the the goal that that's what that's what we're encouraging uh, people to pledge uh the to the patron for is uh, to, to help us create this community uh that is a uh, positive sportsmanlike and uh, uh with uh so as salt free as we can possibly make it uh unlike for example you know, uh, how salty people <laughs> would tend to be on Bad Lion or uh, many other uh, servers where, you know, you know, there's a lot of competition, so people get salty. You just kind of expect it. And so we want to be sure that uh, we're going to be, we're going to be curbing that as much as possible. Okay, I've been, I've been ranting about this uh, a lot, but um, yeah, I just want to be sure that it's clear to the players of the UHC Clubhouse that, uh, you know, if, if, if you don't have the right attitude and uh you know this has been displayed uh, too many times because we we do give second chances you can't redeem yourself if you don't have a second chance but if you also uh, refuse to show any signs of improvement then you know there's no there you leave us no choice we're gonna have to uh, gonna have to kick you out man we're gonna have to kick you out for the best of the community for the good of the whole you're gonna have to get rid of the uh the bad apples if you will. So make sure you're not one of those bad apples. Be on your best behavior. Thank you. <laughs> and, um, all right. That's, uh, that's about, um, that about covers everything. I think, I think over here for the, uh, to get back to the, the patrons who, uh, are into the SMP, we have a lot of, uh, we have a few people that are going to be streaming and or making videos on the SMP for the next season. I think because everyone's, uh, a little excited about the aquatic updates and the the icebergs and uh, the new fishies and um, the coral of course and all those new additions the tridents the uh, ocean monuments the shipwrecks the buried treasure the turtles uh, the sea pickles even the sea pickles you got to give respect to the sea pickle all these new things I think have uh, got people hyped 
And so uh, a few of us, including myself, uh, are going to be uh, streaming when we can. I think it's going to be uh, very cool. Let me take a look at chords. Yeah, all right, that's awesome. I love I love this uh, this coral area. It's very good looking. I know I want to build a base somewhere in an area like this, and I think this might be this might be the Juan. Maybe this is it. Maybe this is it. Oh yeah. Maybe this is it. And I'm gonna be, of course, I'm gonna be coming down hard on anyone who uh, destroys, <laughs> who destroys a, a coral reef, especially because you need silk touch to not kill the coral. Um, yeah, uh, I'm destroying the environment is, is gonna be a serious, serious crime on the SMP <laughs> when it comes to coral reefs, and even I would say, um, you know, uh, iceberg biomes. Uh, serious, serious crime. Uh, but there's going to be several of us who are going to be streaming and stuff, so if you want to join us on the streams, on the videos, and so on, you can join the community. All you need is a, is a basically one time, one time $2 pledge is the minimum to uh, have access to an entire season. And the reason uh, the, 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 basically the entry point is so low is because we, we want to have some people. We want to have fun with a lot of people. You don't have to be a patron forever in order to qualify. Just a one time $2 pledge is the minimum. Of course, you can uh, encourage uh, the UHC uh, Clubhouse, uh, the channel, Tommy's channel, my channel, uh, and all sorts of things uh, if you want with uh, longer pledges or bigger pledges. It's all up to you. It's uh, up to whatever your budget is. And if your budget does not allow you to be a patron, that's okay as well. Uh, because I appreciate every time I see your name in the comments. That alone makes my day. So, uh, hey, I, speaking of that, I hope I, I, I see your input in the comments. I want to let everyone know that, of course, the UHC Clubhouse is going to be reopening. We're going to be uh, hosting games again. Uh, provided your attitude, uh, you know, inspires our game hosts to host more games. We, 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 you know, we, you got to be nice in order to get games. If you're not nice, you're probably, if you, you're going to get coal in your socks at Christmas instead of uh, of UHC games, you know, if you're not nice. <laughs> and uh, we'll be we'll be forced to, to kick people if we have to. Uh, it's with a lot of uh, sadness and chagrin, of course, we do that because it's heartbreaking, but uh, if we have to, we're going to have to uh, because ultimately we're striving for a goal of sportsmanship and, and uh, as toxic and salt-free as possible is what we're going for. And uh, so sometimes there are some elements that uh, that just create salt. There are some salt shakers out there, and uh, they'll be uh, invited to uh, depot if they stick around too long. Uh, otherwise, there's a lot of other things uh, that are coming up ahead. Most notably, again, that's for the patrons, but Tommy uh, has organized for the patrons a very special event. It's uh, Werewolf, which is basically kind of a, a game in Minecraft, but it's also kind of a... I guess you could say it's kind of a role-playing game a little bit, or a little bit like a Town of Salem, if you will, or that, that, that kind of thing. And uh, that's going to be a fun time. You can, uh, you can ma make sure you, uh, if you're a patron, of course, make sure you uh, go to the patron um, VIP chat, where, you know, all the patron exclusives are discussed. And there's a poll there for you to answer to say, you know, when is the best time for you to be uh, participating in Werewolf because uh, that game is very accommodating to the amount of players that can uh, participate and uh, have a good time. Um, yeah, I think I think that covers about all of it. I probably rambled way, way too long as I as I, I tend to do. I wanted to. Uh, to probably edit the thing and be as concise as possible, but that's not going to happen because I'm lazy, and I want to. I want to put. I want to put out this video out uh, tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm I'm, uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make sure that uh, it comes out tomorrow. That way, uh, all you have all the latest news as fresh and as uh, early as can be. Um, there you go. Uh, see you in the comments. And see you in the next video. Keep watching Cinema and WMC. Sponsored by the Flues Crew on Patreon.